Hey guys, how's it going? Jason Sational here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're picking off where we left off yesterday on the seven decks to play featuring Pantheon Fiora, probably the highest play rate as well as one of the more decent decks into a variety of decks across the meta. This deck really beats Swain. It beats uh si control decks and it actually has decent game into nami or into ionia whether that be nami or even akshan lee sin so just a very even deck across the board a very great consistency as well and this deck really gained a lot it looks a very much so like what the old pantheon uh Demacia deck look like now of course cards like zenith blade have gone nerf but we have gone some quite substantial replacements first one is eula um, being able to grant either Spell Shield or Overwhelm gives you that Zenith Blade effect that this deck really, really needed. Uh, no longer running the White Flame, we are on Wandering Shepherd. The weapons themselves are just really, really good, not only helping you to activate your Faded, but also giving you additional keywords on cards like Pantheon on Fiora, on Camphor, on Petricide Broadwing, whether that be like Quick Attack, Scout... Uh, fear suns just push damage or even over on whatever that might be just to really really help you solidify a lot of damage in the mid game what you do uh lack with the keywords because you're as a demasi deck you're mostly just a stat reliant deck you do make up with either the weapons or eula um and in the late game we have cards like pantheon of course uh we have two copies of cam for the doubt which is actually pretty decent having challenger spell shield and overwhelm also allowing you to attach a weapon like Scout or Quick Attack onto it off of Wandering Shepherd Improvises can be very, very good. But I think the one card that really ties everything together is the Darkened Lodestone. Not only does this card act as a very fantastic way in the early game to just get out a bunch of stats, uh, you can equip this onto a, like a Saga Seeker in order to get the Faded proc, and then your supported ally gains plus one, plus one, so very good on your challenger units like her... Uh, Petrocyte Broadwing, as well as Fiora. But the real kicker is that once you play it in the early game, the unit that equips it dies, or you can just equip it off using another weapon. You get access to Harazi, which is a fantastic way into all the Ionia decks, as well as any other sort of deck where you get to this late game scenario, being able to just make two 7-7s. Seven Having spell shown in itself makes it very, very difficult for any sort of Ionia deck to really interact with it because they need to use like two palms or palm and a will because they really don't have a very good way of popping spell shield and if they don't do that you just get to spread spell shield onto another unit and that again just makes things a lot harder as well you can give Harazi overrun you can give it a fearsome whatever keyword it might be plus spell shield and it just creates a very very fantastic way as a win con of the deck Overall, just very, very solid, great interaction tools like single combat and concerted strike. You have the rallies with your challengers, and you just have a bunch of combat tricks like guiding touch and pale cascades to really play around some more removal heavy decks, such as the Swain ones that either rely on damaging your units or just the more damage based ones where you have the plus one plus ones as well as the faded procs in order to grow your units out of stat range. But very fantastic deck overall. Uh, very, very solid into a lot of different decks across the board, and is probably one of the decks I'm going to be bringing to Seasonals. So if you guys are looking to get some last-minute climbing in, this is probably one of the most solid decks out there that I would recommend. It's not even the hardest one to pilot, and it has good results. So if you were to check out the games, I think some really sweet moments in there, but I'll catch you guys next time <laughs> with another video. So peace out, guys. Have a good one. Worse than Vengeance, except for, like, specifically Lee Sin. Okay, right. good, good, good. It's pretty good. Single combat, it's good if we can scale. Alright, okay, we go two into one gem three. This might just be like a mulligan where it's like... This might be like a mediocre mulligan where it could be a lot better. Um, But I just kept it because it was decent. It's always hard to say. Mulligan in this game is like never easy. You just want an excuse to rip trash trash off of Reggie? Fair enough, man. Okay, this hand's like pretty good. Um, I am quite behind on my Pantheon procs, which is a little bit awkward because you can just play like Shield Bearer and then my I don't have an attack. Oh my god, let's go. Wow, that's huge. That's huge because then I get a free gem that starts ticking up my progress. I'll probably use it next on the Saga Seeker though. How do you beat Fjord Panther Nami Lee? 
Well, typically you uh you level Nami, you have like you can tech nope find and I you can tech nope finds, right? <laughs> to be better into things like uh single combat. And then you have Telestone's homecoming to bounce back their like big boy units. You hack your shards on the Jax pack, now it's no deck. Oh no. Unlucky man. Give me a plus two. Maybe I should have put it here, but I was looking for like the pot of pain to try to kill this. Maybe that's like greedy. Never had a deck? He sort of had a deck. I wouldn't say he never had a deck, but... That's annoying. I need to scale my units. I might just like send this goat in just to get the gem. Because I need this to be bigger than his units, otherwise I'm in a bad spot. Um, but he has so much mana. Vax had higher wins but way lower lows for timelines. Probably true. Good draw. I need to scale this guy faster. Like this is outscaling me which is bad. I also need to kill that. This is actually really awkward. I've been scaling my units really slowly. Okay, so I gotta kill his Raven, right? So he like pales here and then I can single here. Is that worth? I probably just get my gem actually. Make this guy bigger and bigger. I do need to be careful when Leona hits the board because I'm gonna get stun locked. And down's two turns off. I probably should have been scaling Pantheon as well. I just single combat is Raven, probably. So he's playing Galio. Do need to be aware of that. Make sure his board is as narrow as we can make it. Let me top punching through his board when he has Galio up. This trades here. I just get the gem, and then I can like buff this up where it can't get traded and I can single combat next turn. That's a fantastic draw. Do this so you can't daybreak to make this trade. And then we have single combat concerted strike up. It's gonna blank a pale on me. If he pales, I can single combat this way. Oh, he blanks a pale. Whew. And now he needs a second pale cascade, otherwise he like basically lose the game on the spot. What can he daybreak in combat speed? Nothing. He needs a second pale cascade here or he like loses. Oh my god. Oh the value! The actual value, man. That's exactly why I went for last turn play, getting the gem, making sure that these like like damage like breakpoints were such like that. Because he was representing pale cascade last turn, right? And now he doesn't daybreak his Leona. Like goddamn. And now we just have leveled Pantheon, we can start scaling. And we have Concerted Strike. Watch that sequence, I now know he don't know how to play the deck. I mean, the first step is always... Casual, what's up, man? First step is always understanding how little you know about a deck. And then that's when you can actually start to improve at it. Now we still like pan concerted, yeah. 
he had no longer the board so galley all of a sudden lose a lot of like credibility uh if he hits comet that sucks but here's where he rolls spell shield like an absolute pro you guys believe me right i roll spell shield here every time i guess he could have had uh like the uh sunburst Spell shield. Gods, demons, they all must die. Oh, this game is so easy, dude. Oh my god. Quick attack, spell shield, let's go. And challenger. <laughs> this game is too easy, man. Too easy. Hmm, comment me now, homie. You don't think you see me draw Cam for once? I, I've drawn Cam for... Uh, I think I've played Cam for at least twice so far. And now I don't think there's any answer for this concerty strikey boy. What is this? Uh, it's fix and uppers. Okay, so I get 8 here, so even if he singles here, he needs like a sharp sign, that's not even enough. Can't get barrier. In the second Saturday? Most likely. I really want to find Broadwing. Mm, Pantheon. I want to find Horazi, which is great. Can I keep this with no units? Is that just like speak asking for me to like cry? Those lose. I mean, Momentus is mostly for Nami and Shelly because you just get a double cast on a spell, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah, they work with Lee as well, but that's not really the. Not really the main thing, right? I keep a Pantheon. Hmm. I mean, Pantheon seems okay. Okay, but we hit Saga Seeker. We're cracked. <laughs> Answer simply doesn't want to betray his <laughs> political views on disarming while playing card game. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Um, constructs. We didn't draw any Eula, Ayulas. Yeah, we didn't, did we? Oh, Fearsome's great. That's just like free damage on the table. You could like pokey flock it, I guess. That like kind of sucks. But then I still have the fearsome weapon for the future. Looks like he doesn't have, which is great. But ideally, something like we draw like a chain vest or a guiding touch here just to play on flock would be fantastic. Mm, okay. I'm probably just open attack for five. Uh, actually. Unless he generates poisons iron a flock, yeah. Or like group shot. I can play goat into like Lodestone. The punish is sentry, right? Okay, let's not do that. And then we can just go like Saga Seeker, Wandering Shepherd again. That's pretty good. So I should be just like gonna go wide and set up various threats. Is there a disintegrate? What do you think of back alley bar keeps with rumble mech yorls to keep your hand from bloating? To keep your hand from bloating? That sounds that sounds counterintuitive. Don't the bar keeps bloat your hand? 
Are you just saying that you should generate fodder to discard with those cards? <laughs> Mech girls overall, man, need a little bit of a love. They're lacking something. My Fiora? No, no, no! Oof. I play TF for DN in Nami deck. DN? What's DN? You laugh track. These nuts? Ah, oh, gosh darn it, guys. Okay, I'll probably try to play Fiora here. Oh, wow. That's really good. What? <laughs> That's also a fearsome block. Oh my god, I'm pissed. I am molding. Our test determine if you're going to bring in Seasonal. Yes. Chain Vest is phenomenal, though. Prevents me from getting, like, pokey flocked. Sentry is a little annoying though. Can't really do much about that one. Uh... Need like a good pale cascade here, I guess. Oh, I forgot about this one. That was silly. Game of free trade. I need to start like paying attention to the game a little bit more. You like it strong to curve out with something to do. I, I think it's a very strong deck. Like Harazi like sort of saves your game plan. It's Har <laughs> Harazi's good both early and late game, which makes it like phenomenal. Like Harazi like fixes his deck completely. Or you just have seemingly infinite value. Probably worth saving. I just like want him to invest another flock into it, I guess. Because the only that's the only way he like deals with it. You not generate Durant Architect with the level of Swain on board. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Do you have issues with draw? I mean, yeah, it's the same issue, right? Sometimes you don't like you don't really have Okay, that sucks. And that works those fix him uppers. What the hell is this synergy, man? Oh my lord. Oh my god, another broadening is phenomenal. But like Harazi just like dumpsters on like most decks. Unfortunately I have one of them. You can give Harazi Fearsome too, which is phenomenal. Like, Harazi just like absolute dumpsters here. <laughs> I stand corrected. Harazi no longer dumpsters here. Bro, what the hell is this? On God, man. Why does he keep hitting his portals off the top? Like to run a singleton copy of Laurent Chevalier. That was like the 
That was like the 2020 tech, man. That was the 2020 tech in Fiora Shen. People just ran a one of Laurent <laughs> Chevalier in their decks. That's a throwback, man. Throwback and a half. What the? Okay, but do I care? Not enough. As long as this Harazi survives, like, we're fine because we can give it Overwhelm. And then we skip two units Overwhelm and have like seven sixes. Yes! Thank you. I needed that draw. I mean, I am actually losing here if he like can deal with my Harazi though, which is a little bit unfortunate. I don't, want to bait. I don't want to put the spell shield on right now. I kind of want to bait him a little bit. I have the guiding touch to play on like a scorched earth. And we'll see if we can prevent that. Oh. Do we win now? I should get myself spell chilled and then I can give the fear swamp and onto it. I don't want to give him a Fiora because that opens up like block flock or ping flock. Swing lethal. How popular do you think Swain's gonna be at regionals? Feels like Nami wins too hard and it's easy to target. I mean, if you're bringing Swain, you're most likely banning Nami. And I do think Swain is gonna be quite represented. It just seems like a very solid option. Okay. I need a single combat to kill this. What do I do use with it? Like this? You need a ping plus deal two to it. Whereas I can do it this way. I can guiding this into single. And I don't think he has a way to stop this. And that seems like the safest. Mini morph doesn't work. It'd have to be disintegrate plus X, which then maybe I should use the 5 for. I don't know. It's too hard playing around like XYZ cards. This just seems okay. I guess disintegrate pokey doesn't even work because of the top. So it'd have to be like disintegrate plus like death's hand or something that deals too. Well. It's important to discern the people who were unironically praising it because they played it to a, a, to like 10 wins in a row. Like Majin. Majin recognizes that a deck sucks, but he also recognizes that he won 10 games in a row with it and can bait people into clicking on him because of it. You're a Chalzheimer. <laughs> Matchup should be okay for us. Question is like, how greedy of a mulligan can I get? There are plenty of people that were calling the deck out for being bad, and there are plenty of there's some people that praise the deck for being good. There's some people that praise a deck for being good if you're really good at it. And then there's people that praise a deck, but they think it's garbage because it's funny and it's cool to meme on it. And this hand is absolutely tragic. All right, draw me a unit, please. Oh, thank God. Absolute godsend. Please just like mystic shot me. Okay. Go 
Which deck sucks? Karma Yi. The Go Hard Control deck. Now, when I say it sucks, I don't mean it can't win games. Because, like, it still has, like, an interesting matchup table where it beats things. Like, it's going to beat your Swain decks. Um, and you can beat, like other things right like it's not like it just can't win games but like it's not good enough it, 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 I, I don't know man it's hard to like put in the right words shock blast me i dare you i want some old school elise tf go hard control shock blast me awning shadow he just main decks this card? Holy shit. Wait, does that mean he's playing three Vengeances and Dawning Shadows? That's crazy. Like, actually wild. I'm just supposed to play Pantheon here, I guess. Maybe cut the Drain card. Oh, like the Piercing Darkness? reasonable I am ready. Is this the first of fear? no single combat though because he can like he just like play Heimer and like totally disrespect me to ah! <laughs> it's fine though we're just like adequately wide and we have second panth hell cascades good draw oh I don't have another unit to give my broadwing challenger that's like kind of bothersome I need another unit. I need to draw into another unit here. But like, if he doesn't have any more vengeances, he's just gonna lose. What is this? Okay, fair enough. Uh, sure. I used to just replay Pantheon, and I can give it a give this challenger, I guess. Like, this game should just be won by me just having Harazi. Oh, but this doesn't have barrier. I can't actually attack into that. Okay, I should have maybe thought about this a little bit harder. Okay, definitely should have thought about this a little bit harder. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I need a rally, otherwise I'm dead. That's so funny. I'm legitimately dying if I don't rally here. It's fine. Like, even though I lost all my pantheons, I just have Harazi, which is a nightmare for him as well. I have two Harazis, matter of fact. Oh, I can just pale cast. Oh, he's playing on double trading? Hell yeah. I can pale cascade then and get really rewarded here. Plays Albus. So, what about Albus? Yeah, stats say Panthior is favorite to Jace Heimer, but don't they just. Well, you have more. <laughs> you have more threats than they have vengeances. Like, you have three Pantheons. You have Saga Seekers that scale. You have Harazi. It's really, really decent. I want to keep my Guiding Touches up this turn. Because he's likely just going to try to Vile Feast me. Like, I could have played this. Okay, well now I wish I played it. Like, he's played what? He's played Dawning Shadow and like, what? Two Vengeances? Right? Or Vengeance Thermo, I guess. And he's still just like, sort of losing. Lugal was good, homie. I didn't. 
Oh, wow. He can't stop us from attacking. Okay. I kind of just want to go big. I run into the risk of not being able to kill his Heimer. Okay, we'll just Pale Cascade this trade. Let's be smart about this. Yeah, let's just be smart about it. Like, Pale Cascade here just value trades it. What if instead of SI Heimer, Jace went Banal City for Mayor? <laughs> More of an Bogey stick. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Interesting. Can I please draw a single comment? Please. If I lose because he hits me once with a 7 2, I'm going to like lose it. I'm actually just going to lose it if I like. I don't know. Just like die to this 7 2. I'm going to actually lose it. Oh my god, he's gonna production surge me. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm losing here. I need a single combat right now. Or a concerted strike. Okay, please, 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 please. Come on. Come on, game. One time. Give me a strike spell one time. Please. Yo, Potes and... Oh my god, he had both. Holy shit. Potes and Hertrun. Thank you guys for the follows. Appreciate it, man. Alright, GG's. I just can't draw my strike spells, man. It's embarrassing. Should be co tum co ah, completely fine. This matchup is all about scaling a unit and like early pressure. If I can find like Saga Seeker into like a pretty new, start playing like two weeks though. Hell yeah, man. Congrats. That's awesome. You, oh my god. You come from a, like another card game or something like that? That's pretty good. You're new to the game. I wonder if you're over more lodestone. I don't know if I'm like keeping lodestone too much. I think it's like a phenomenal card, but it could also just be like overkeeping it as well. Play Pokemon compatibility? Gotcha. What deck you been liking? We've been playing recently to get to where you're at. <clears throat> Alright, from preemptive spell shields, how does Pantheon deal with mini morph? Pantheon himself doesn't deal with mini morph. But you just like go wider than your opponent to deal with mini morph. Like you just play like three threats that your opponent needs a mini morph. Like last game where I just had like overwhelm and fearsome units and I just like did damage. Even though he mini morphed my whatever unit, I forgot what he mini morphed. It just didn't really change how it went, right? Nice. MF Swain and Nami Lee. Nice man. <laughs> Oh, what a draw. You've been mulling Lodestone? Yeah, I still don't know if I'm just like overkeeping Lodestone. Like, it's a phenomenal card, but I could also just be overkeeping it too. Oh, this pass is so tempting. I don't know me if am I overkeeping Shark Chariot. There's no way. No sh no hope. No shot. So I do want to be able to Concerted Strike this turn if possible. Um, My units aren't really that big, which is a little bit unfortunate. I do get to heal this to 5. I might just start off with that. And like call it a turn. Wait, I should have Concerted Strike there. Right? Like, how does he stop me if I can sort of strike that turn? Oh well. I guess that- no, there was. Like, he had, like, Wuju style. 
Um, but it was still like an okay spot to hit the concerted there anyways. Don't force out two spells and can like concert it if we need to. Which doesn't save him. Oh yeah, you're right, it doesn't. No, it does. It does, because it gets barrier and then it gets meditate, which is plus two, so it goes to seven health. You're keeping Karma Mulligan away, Victor, and the bar. Interesting. You're keeping Karma Mulligan away, Victor, and... I mean, I keep bar in almost any hand. I kept, like, two bars in the same hand. And the most matches I do keep big... You're trolling? Okay, fair enough. I can search strike here, force out a deny. Seems okay. You could have took homecoming. He balances Lee Sin, do I care? Not really. Third question of the day, what is the most cursed thing can do with three region combos? Shark chair to Zerelia. Is that even good? You have to spend two mana on a Shark Chariot. That sounds slow. Jack's equipment with a Phalios and Veil Temple. He wills his own Lee Sin? Wait, why do you take off the Telestones? Why do you just take Homecoming? Did he actually like take Health Pot? That's so weird. Why would he? Why didn't he take? Cause he? Huh? Why didn't he just take Homecoming? <laughs> what? I don't understand, man. He took Health Pot. <laughs> that was confusing. I just keep developing threats. You're debating bring Anivia just to fuck with people. Anivia probably beat Anivia probably beats Swain. Like people are bringing like SI control decks to beat Swain. It's not bad. Now Anivia is probably not like the best either. <laughs> um, but it's not bad. I can pop off the Lodestone card here, and I can just play Lua next turn. Or not Lua, but Harazi. You bring Agra Nivia? I don't... You can't even, like, attack Lee Sin, because he plays two spells, he gets, like, single combated. Or he can only play one spell, but... I could play Harazi next turn, and he just, like, loses. <laughs> He just really can't deal with Harazi. Hmm, Anivia's bear MF. Yeah, if you think about it, oh wow. Well, I guess he does need to play the what? Okay, that. Hmm, that's disrespectful, man. That's just disrespectful. I think this matchup is actually pretty good for Pantheon Fiora. Like, this matchup feels good for Pantheon Fiora. Um, but into like, cause like, what this deck has trouble with is that they don't have the sustain that Zoe Lee used to have. Like, that, that sustain no longer exists. This deck is too fragile to pressure. It's a little bit fragile to pressure, and you have single combat, which actually like can pressure Lee. Like without like Zoe Lee was really good, 
into Demacia because you could take games late. You could take games like turns eight and nine, whereas this deck can't really do that. At least against decks that actively put pressure on your opponent. It's probably still not the greatest just because they're playing Tionia, but I think it's pretty good. And they can't deal with spell shield at all at all. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the games. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys made it all the way to the end, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. We'll probably have another reveal video out later today. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. But again, I'll leave the decklist for this deck down below in the description. Feel free to play it, check it out, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'll leave it there and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.